notwithstand it, we anticipated it and profited by it. So in 2006 and 7, we could see that it was coming because it's another one of those. And it was an interesting, it was a very interesting time because uh, I, I won't name the policymakers, but the leading policy makers go to Washington and have conversations with them. And, um, and, and, and it seemed very, very likely that that was going to happen. And as it was happening, there was a lack of understanding of it. And the reason that there was a reluctance to a, em, embrace this is, first of all, it was controversial. So it seemed improbable because it never happened before in their lifetimes, right? And then there was a certain amount of conventional wisdom that they, and there was not enough discussion. There was quality discussion. Why might something that seemed so improbable be true, right? And then the willingness, I think, to think independently just on the basis of that merit. Um, and yet it was just another one of those. And if you understand the cause-effect linkages, it had to occur. So uh, we knew, you don't know anything, we, it seemed highly likely, and we then were positioned so that our clients uh, did well in 2008 when most people uh, did terribly, and yet there was no excuses to do terribly, really, and there was no excuses for letting that happen other than they didn't experience it before. Now, let me say that that always happens. It's okay. We all make those mistakes. But the lesson to be learned from that is that um, you could be wrong and, and, that you, and that you need to understand how the machine works and you need to look at those probabilities and that these things have happened for. So for a very, very long time, even after the 2008, the understanding of deleveragings was not even calling it a deleveraging, was very controversial. And then understanding the mechanics of deleveraging, still people were not paying as much attention to how does the machine work, how does the economic machine work. They were thinking their own opinion about what's going to come next. So let's take the issue of, um, of, of deficits, of, uh, 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 of government debt, okay, of austerity of printing of money. These are still very controversial subjects. Most of the people who have opinions about those subjects are not actually studying how the machine works, going back in history and saying, what are those cause-effect relationships? But they have opinions. Now, that's we should instead be having a conversation on just like biology or any physiology, it, you know, um, what is the cause effect relationship let's agree let's put our that model through time um i, I i've written uh, my views on how the economic machine works uh, and I, I i think it's um uh, i think I, I put created a website i'm not sure of the website i think it's called um how the how the economic machine works dot org or something but in other words to just put out what do I think the machine looks like? We should be talking about that and then move on to the question of what we should do, right? But, we're, but yet, there's not enough of that. There's not going to the higher level and saying, how does that machine work? 